Chapter 48 Epiphany Elder Dan, don't worry. After I behead Lin Baishan, I promise that I won't use the star-absorbing technique to devour other people's cultivation again. Kang Tion pondered for a moment, took a deep breath, and secretly recited the fixed heart mantra a few times, which dissolved the thrill of devouring other people's cultivation in his heart. The child is teachable. Emperor Dan nodded in relief at his words. He began to feel somewhat that only his constant reminding of Kang Tion should be able to prevent Kang Tion from falling into the devil's path. After all, there were no good or bad gong methods per se. What was truly terrifying was still the human heart. As long as one maintained a heart of pure blood, the heart demons would naturally not be allowed to invade. Her her, what a strong true chi fluctuation, who is fighting. Above the seventh level of foundation establishment, this is definitely a cultivator, above the seventh level of foundation establishment fighting. What a great commotion. It's coming from the royal mansion. What on earth is happening? While well, Kang Tian and the third elder he were fighting, countless puzzled voices resounded within the heavy iron city. All of them were awakened by the sound of the battle, especially some of the residents near the Wong mansion. As early as when Kang Chon decapitated Wong Fei, they felt that something was not right. And then immediately after that, they heard even louder sounds of the battle, causing them to be extremely shocked and puzzled. Although the movements of the royal mansion made near many people suspicious, none of them dared to come and investigate. After all, the prestige of the royal mansion was there. Even if the royal mansion had undergone a huge change nowadays, it was not something that any person would dare to take offense at. The crowd could only wait with a good strong sense of wonder. They felt that something significant must have happened tonight. Meanwhile, in another powerful family in Heavy Iron City, the Lin family, a panicked guard of the royal mansion, gushed to the place, shouting loudly to see Wong Chon. Seeing his panicked face, the Lin family's watchman guard hurriedly got someone to inform Lin Wei. During this period of time, Wong Chuan had often come and gone to the Lin family, discussing with Lin Wei about how to force Kang Chuan and the others to come out from the back of the mountain. So the group of Lin family's children were not strangers to him. At this moment, Lin Wei was discussing things with Wong Chuan in a pavilion. Brother Lin, I wonder if you've thought of any ploys to force those two fellows out. If we keep dragging on like this, I'm afraid we really have to wait until the city lord returns. Wong Chun deepened his face and drank a cup of wine fiercely. These days he often thought about the threat that Kang Chun had posed to him that day. As long as he didn't destroy Kang Chun for a day, he felt uneasy in his heart. Lin Wei on the opposite side had the same mood, after all. He had personally experienced the horror of Kang Tion in his heart. The threat of Kang Tion was much greater than Wong Tixiong. After all, even if Wong Tixiong broke through the Jidan stage, his Lin family was still not afraid. But Kang Tion's talent was intimidating, and no one dared to imagine what would be the result of this genius growing up. I do have a plan, it's just, Lin Wei said with some hesitation after pondering for a while. Wong Chuan's eyes immediately lit up when he heard this, and he hurriedly said, What kind of ploy? Quickly tell me. Burn the back of the mountain. Lin Wei's eyes went cold and said morosely. Wong Chuan couldn't help but shiver at his words and said with some trepidation. The plan is good, but there are quite a few residents living near the back of the mountain. So I'm afraid that if this fire comes together, there will be countless deaths and injuries. Even the cold-blooded Wong Chuan couldn't help but feel alarmed by Lin Wei's plan, knowing that although the back mountain of the royal mansion is the back mountain of the royal mansion, but the back mountain is so big, there are actually many residents of Heavy Iron City who live near the back mountain. It's just that the only passageway leading to the back mountain within the boundaries of the royal mansion, that's why it's called the back mountain of the royal mansion. This if the fire comes together, the residents living near the back mountain will be seriously injured without dying. And if the wind is not in the right direction, it might even burn to the city. When the time comes, 
notify the nearby residents to relocate, and I, the Lin family, will compensate for any losses, Lin Wei sniffed and said indifferently. Wang Chong nodded at his words, but he knew that Lin Wei's words didn't count, after all. There were so many people living in the back of the mountain, where would their Lin family be able to notify them? Moreover, the commotion was so loud that Wang Tixiong and Kang Chong just have learnt about it a long time ago. Report, Grand Duke, there's a Wong family guard outside who wants to see Clan Chi Fung. At this moment, a Lin family guard came to report. Wong Chon frowned at the words. What was a Wong family guard doing here, at this time to see him? Bring him in directly, Lin Wei said indifferently. Trouble brother Lin, Wong Chon said. No problem, perhaps your father has something important to find you. Lin Wei smiled and waved his hand, picking up a cup of wine and gently taking a sip. Soon after, that Wen Clan guard hurriedly came in with a panicked face following a Lin Clan guard, and as soon as he saw Wang Chong, he cried and knelt down. When Wang Chong saw the guard's expression, a bad feeling suddenly rose in his heart. Patriarch, something bad has happened. Kang Tian has killed his way into the king's residence. As soon as this guard knelt down, he immediately said with tears and shouts. Both Wang Chuan and Lin Wei were shocked at his words. How is that possible? Isn't that brat in the back of the mountain? Didn't hear any movement? Huh. What did he avoid my father? Lin Wei's face was full of shock and his head was full of questions. Wang Chuan, however, was worried about his father's and their safety and hurriedly asked, how is the situation? With a grand elder and the others not a match for that brat even if they join forces. Now the Wong family's grand elder is naturally his father, the third elder. For his father's cultivation, he still knows. Unless the ninth level of foundation establishment, it is impossible to harm his father. Plus those Wong family elders in. Even if they bump into the ninth level of foundation establishment, the strongest can also be a battle. It seems that he is not Kang Chon's opponent. I saw the fourth elder break out, but he was killed by him summoning a large palm of true chi. Then I came to inform you. That guard said, he was a head of guards of the Wong family, and a widow near the king's house had entanglements. Today he just happened to be lazy for a bit, and the widow to go to warm up, but did not want to hear the king's house in the middle of the night a huge commotion. So he hurriedly finished and went back. This go back does not matter, but it was to see his men who stood on guard that the guards were all killed. And then he saw a scene of the great battle between Kang Tian and the third elder and the other people. This brat is surprisingly so powerful. It seems that his cultivation has risen quite a bit again. I'm afraid that even you, Brother Wong, might not be able to take him down. Lin Wei sniffed and said in a deep voice. The scorn for Kang Tian in his heart was getting deeper and deeper. Today Kang Tian was able to come out from the back of the mountain and attack the Wong Mansion. That meant that tomorrow he would be able to come and sneak attack the Lin family as well. And when that time came, his Lin family was bound to suffer heavy damage. HMPH. This time he won't be able to leave if he comes. Wong Chon snorted coldly at his words and cupped his fists at Lin Wei. Brother Lin, the situation is urgent. I won't say more. I'll rush back now to pester him. You go and notify your father right away. This time, this brat must be annihilated first. At that time, Wong Tixiong won't be enough to worry about. Good. Brother Wong, and take a step first. I'll explain to my canine son and then immediately rush to the back of the mountain to inform my father. Lin Wei nodded heavily at his words. Wong Chong's thoughts were the same as his. After speaking, Wong Chong also didn't care about that royal guard. He directly grabbed the door and ran towards the royal residence. A moment later, Lin Wei also changed into a strong suit and ran towards the back of the mountain of the Wong mansion. At this time, the great battle in the king's mansion had long since come to an end, and Kang Tian had performed a star-absorbing technique to devour the true chi of the third elder and the others, and his own cultivation had skyrocketed 
to the late eighth level of the foundation establishment, rum. What a terrifying star absorbing grand technique. I really don't know who created such a terrifying demonic skill. Kang Chon looked at the corpses of the third elder and the others at his feet and his eyes couldn't help but shrink slightly. After the devouring of the star absorbing grand technique, the third elder and the others were as if they had been drained of their life essence. Not only did they become full of grey hair, even their skin had dried up, and the entire appearance of skin and bones was frightening to see. Such a situation, so that Kang Chon for the star-sucking grand technique scruples deeper, he secretly decided to get rid of Lin Beishan after. Never use this kind of magic power. Sweeping his eyes from the corpses of the third elder and the others, Kang Chion looked towards the distant night sky, secretly wondering in his heart, how come Wang Chan hadn't appeared yet? After such a big commotion, could it be that he wasn't in the Wong family? Little wild seed, don't come out to die yet. Speak of the devil, Kang Chion's doubts in his heart had just arisen when Wang Chan's roar came from the night sky in the distance, followed by a majestic true chi fluctuation that shook the heavens and moved the earth. Kang Chong gazed at it, and the cold light in his eyes, asterisk, 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 saw a figure in the distance sprinting, and in a few jumps on a few houses, he entered the King S mansion. Listening to that familiar and annoying voice, feeling that familiar breath, Kang Chong knew who the visitor was. It was Wong Chon, a ninth level foundation establishment powerhouse his greatest enemy in the Wong family, and now the last Wong family enemy. Kang Tion's eyes reappeared with killing intent. This person he would not let go no matter what. A. Wong Chion, who came at great speed from afar, couldn't help but be shocked when he saw Kang Tion alone. A bad feeling steeply rose in his heart. Wasn't it said that his father and the elders of the Wong clan were teaming up to attack Kang Tion? How is it that only Kang Chion is left alone now, does he not dare to think about it anymore? At this time, the cultivators in the heavy iron city were shocked. Just now Wong Chion's roar was a shocking roar, they heard it clearly. And all of a sudden, one by one, with a strong curiosity, they gathered around not far from the Wong mansion to watch. And in the middle of the king's mansion, Wong Chion, who came running at extreme speed, finally appeared in front of Kang Chion. Ruthlessly stomping his foot on the ground, a huge force scattered along his feet. The ground blue stone all shattered a large area. You are finally here to tell you the good news. Your father and your son have already gone to hell. I will now send you to reunite with them. Seeing Wong Chion appearing in front of him, Kang Chion's cold face revealed a trace of an icy smile and said in a morose tone, What? Wong Chion was shocked at his words. Kang Chion's words were undoubtedly a bolt from the blue for him. He couldn't believe this. Despite how cold-blooded he was, it was impossible for him to disregard the lives and deaths of his father and son. Kang Chion made it clear that he wanted to strike Wong Chion and let him taste the loss of his loved ones. So he ingested the corpse of the third elder with a palm and threw it towards Wong Chion on the opposite side. Swish, the corpse that was like skin, and bones fell in front of Wong Chion, and on top of the ungainly corpse, a pair of eyes filled with fear were revealed. Wong Chion was instantly filled with grief and anger, his chest was filled with rage. Although the third elder's corpse was no longer recognizable, the familiar clothing, as well as the appearance, he, as a son, could naturally recognize it. From the third elder's eyes, that were filled with fear and died without resting in peace. Wong Chon was able to imagine how painful his father had been before his death. Auto roar came out from Wong Chon's mouth as he roared up to the sky. Furious. I'm sorry, there is only your father's corpse. Your son's corpse is long gone. Kang Chon said coldly. Seeing Wong Chon's grief and anger, his heart was indescribably painful. I want you to die. Wong Chion's eyes widened angrily, his long hair flew, and his entire body's true chi was like a flood that had gone off the levee, surging out and stirring within the entire space. He blasted out with a fist, 
His aura was unrivaled and thunderous. He was clearly furious to the extreme and would not stop until he killed Kang Chion. These are the same words I'm going to say to you. Kang Chion smiled coldly. The true chi of the late eighth level of foundation establishment in his body all revolved. A majestic wave of true chi scattering out towards the surroundings with him as the center. His aura was majestic.